Islip Arts Council's Teenies Revisited 2021 is brought to you by the generous support of Suffolk County, Five Towns College. Finding the right fit for your future college years is closer than you think. And Islip Rotary, service above self. And now, here's your host, Ryan Rodinho. I'm overjoyed to be here with you today to highlight the extraordinary work you and your high school has to offer year after year. High school theater and educational arts programs like the Teenies meant the world to me growing up. It taught me the values of friendship, teamwork, confidence, and creativity. It gave me a sense of comfort knowing that I could spend my life doing the thing I love the most, creating art with others. Because of arts education, I was inspired to try to turn my dreams into realities. I wouldn't have been able to perform on a Broadway stage, travel the world with shows like A Chorus Line, or dance Captain Huge Ensemble shows like Newsies without it. No matter where life takes us after high school, the special experiences we create in our arts programs have lasting impacts on us forever. And today we get to celebrate that. For the past 12 years, the Islip Arts Council Teenies have celebrated the accomplishments of high school theater throughout the town of Islip. This year, some high schools put on virtual shows while other schools opted to postpone performances until next year. The one thing all of our schools have in common is that our students continued to be creative through the historic pandemic. Their love and passion for the arts were undeterred. For that, they all deserve to be celebrated. The Teenies Revisited 2021 individually celebrates each high school program. You will get to see excerpts from each school's performance or original numbers created just for our cameras. Students and faculty will share how the arts help guide them through the quarantine and remote learning. In the coming weeks, the Islip Arts Council will ensure that all Long Island gets to witness the creativity, talent, and enthusiasm of the performing arts students in the town of Islip. During the Teenies in-person events, we were able to show performances from other schools. Well, don't let this be any different this year. Enjoy our profile of your school, but also be inspired by the creativity and stories from other schools. To all our students, this pandemic took away your opportunity to perform for a live audience, to hear that thunderous applause after a great performance, and to receive the voices of praise and love from all your fellow actors. But look at what you did achieve. Cherish your memories. Some of you have graduated and are moving on to other walks. Congratulations. For those of you who are looking forward to resuming theater or chorus and more, we join you in looking forward to 2022 when we get back to the regular Teenies program. Until then, keep the arts in your life and use your talent to brighten someone else's day. It is my pleasure and great honor to introduce to you Brentwood High School. Congratulations, Brentwood, on all of your wonderful achievements. I started high school very insecure, very shy, very timid. And the more I did musical, the more Miss Rizzola was always like, Soph, you gotta own it. You gotta own who you are. Make the movements bigger. Don't be afraid to take up space. And then I took the space. And it became my space. And I shared it with my friends, my family, and um, my peers. And it it gave me something that now, when I'm in a professional space, I can not be afraid to take up the space. During the pandemic, we couldn't be on the stage. Like we usually come back and then we clean up, uh, we like take down the set and everything, and it was always fun. And then when we came back to school, we had nothing. When we came here for the first time for uh, drama, I stood on this stage and I felt like I was home. I, it felt amazing. I played varsity soccer a few months ago and I was the starting goalie. So it was nice to be able to have my senior season and make it to playoffs for the first time in 20 something years. So I almost feel selfish that that one part of me was able to experience the glory and be on a field with my teammates. And that's part of my soul that 
is that belongs to the stage was jealous and hurt and confused on why I could be on a field without a mask and I couldn't be on a stage with one. The most meaningful moment to me was last year's finale. Um, our director, my director that I've known my whole life, Ed Callahan, um, was retiring and he's been working here for 30 plus years. The people who've worked with him came back, uh, people from all around the country who he's met, who he's, he's inspired, who he's taught, came back to be a part of this. Um, we had a little surprise for him where we had them all come up on stage and sing the final song with us and he didn't know. Um, we cried, we bawled our eyes out because we, we felt so together. This man had touched every single, like at least a hundred people on this stage, just crowding together to show him, hey, you inspired me. That circle, that little, that moment of unity that you had at the beginning, what, how important is that to you? It's special to have that, that, that circle and that unity before the show starts. It connects us all together, we're all in a circle. No one's above one another. It doesn't matter if you have a lead or, or you, you're an ensemble member. We're all equal and we're all there to put on a show. It's not a one-man show, it's not a lead show, it's everybody's there. Seeing the emotion of other seniors saying their speeches, telling a prayer, it was such a beautiful moment that I will remember forever. And I wanted to be able to do it this year. I just want to be clear, this was the first and, and only time that you've done that circle this year? Oh no, we do that every year. We do it before every performance. But you haven't had a performance this year? No. I guess this counts as our performance. This is when you get to look at the camera okay. and give your, your senior goodbye to your friends. Okay. Goodbye. Um, thank you for everything you've given me. Not only have you given me a home, but you've given me a part of myself that was really hard to pull out. Um, I want to let you know that you have to believe in yourself no matter what and never confuse a season for a lifetime because just as the bad times come, the good times will come again and you will smile again and this will be over. Um, I think they said it best in The Wiz where believe in yourself as I believe in you and you're going to do great things. Thank you. Thank you for the incredible experiences that I have, uh, have the joy to experience on this stage. Uh, Ms. Frizzola, thank you for believing in me and always checking up on me if I was ever doing, <laughs> if I didn't, if I wasn't in the right mind space. I appreciate you very much. And I thank all my other peers for having fun all the time and always being crazy. <laughs> Whew. Um, thank you for having us be able to do this and do it together. Thank you to Ms. Frizzola, uh, and I will miss it very much. And I will be back to come visit and watch, so. Please welcome Islip Town Supervisor, Angie Carpenter. On behalf of the entire Islip Town Board, we are so proud of all of you who participated during the pandemic. In spite of the setbacks during COVID-19, you rose to the challenge. You stayed creative and continued to produce quality work. And I have to give a special shout out to all the seniors who didn't get their day in the spotlight. Regardless of what you choose to do in life, being on stage is confidence building and I know that it will help you in so many aspects of your life. Our Islip Arts Council's High School Student Recognition Program is designed to reward performing arts students for their amazing talents. And again, we are so proud of each and every one of you, your dedication, your commitment, and most important perhaps, your passion for the performing arts. And we're counting on you to carry that passion with you throughout your life. Congratulations, job well done. started planning this this little setup you knew today was going to happen yeah but it seemed to have caught you 
by surprise yeah. emotionally. Oh, a hundred percent. I'm I'm holding back tears this entire so, time. So. I feel very empathetic. I know how they feel. This is, I think Sophie said it perfectly. It's leaving your home. And this is a home. And I think it's been since, you know, when I, you know, slightly introduced myself before, but they're crying. theater has been a part of my life. Um, I feel alive up here. So it's a chapter and it's a, it's a big deal. And I feel that just looking at all of them, they missed out this year and it's sad, but um, I'm so, I feel so blessed and so thankful to have given them this opportunity. Cause like we've been saying from the beginning, they're like, can we do something? Can we do something? And I said, guys, something is better than nothing. It doesn't matter if we're on the stage for five minutes. It doesn't matter if we're laughing. I mean, we were going through our costumes and organizing props. It doesn't matter. It's just the camaraderie. It's the community. It's being here in a place that's brought us such joy. So yes, I was ready for you, but not ready for this. <laughs> <laughs> the arts is really what keeps, is the glue that keeps us together. It's, uh, in the arts, uh, the kids grow, they see themselves, they have a voice. And to me, that's the important part. Uh, for me in school, we need to make sure that uh, we give a home or a tribe for all our students. And if we didn't do this uh, for the students, or specifically now we're working with the theater kids, uh, I, I don't know where, where those children would be. Uh, so, so as I said, so it's important that we always find a place for all the kids so that they can thrive and they have a voice and find like-minded souls. I mean, we had the hopes that we would do something, but we knew that it was pretty unlikely. So um, we, I exposed them to different styles of choreography. We did a um, little, like, for lack of a better word, unit on, you know, Bob Fosse and his choreography. Um, we did Fiddler on the Roof, musicals, uh, musical numbers from Fiddler, musical numbers from Greece, some little vignettes, um, just again to, to keep it alive. And, and as things began to move in the right direction and I received the approval to have our students come here in person, um, I remember walking into the auditorium and smelling the auditorium. And I was like, oh, you, don't, you don't realize and until that moment how much you miss being here. We needed the interaction, the feeling one another's energy. You lose that through a computer screen. So having something to us was better than having nothing. So even if it's a 15 minute clip, it was something and it was definitely something we needed. So very important. These kids needed, they needed this. I'm Sam Gonzalez. I represent the 9th Legislative District and I represent Central Islip, North Bayshore, and Brentwood. And today I'm here so happy uh, to congratulate the Brentwood High School Theater students who have graduated and have moved on now to their future in theater as an artist, as a musician for the last 40 some odd years. I am so proud of you. I'm very, very proud of you because you picked something that you love. I also want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart, guys, to the Islip Arts Council for recognizing the students for recognizing Brentwood's theater students um, here in Brentwood. I wish you the best, God bless, and again, congratulations. Hi, I'm Suffolk County Legislator Susan Burland. I'd like to thank the Islip Arts Council for inviting me to be a part of this year's Teeny Awards Ceremony. We're celebrating theater students from the Brentwood High School. Legislator Sam Gonzalez and I both represent the Brentwood High School, so we both send you our congratulations. I wish we could be together in person, but I'm glad we still have the opportunity to congratulate you all on your theatrical achievements. 
the love of theater, musicals, dramas, the places theater takes us, how it allows us to feel each and every emotion. There's nothing like it. Well, some of you were able to put on virtual performances, but many arts programs and events had to be put on hold. You should all be so proud of the creative ways you were able to keep theater alive in your hearts and in your schools during these unprecedented times. Hopefully, next year we'll be able to witness all your amazing talents in person, and you'll be able to perform in front of live audiences again. Until then, remember, the show must go on. Congratulations. The Islip Arts Council's Teenies Revisited 2021 is brought to you by the generous support of Suffolk County, Five Towns College, finding the right fit for your future college years is closer than you think, and Islip Rotary, service above self. Atri, that cracked the walls of the hotel bozo so that its gates would never close again. A tree that lived forever. Thank you for watching this special Teenies presentation. As a nonprofit organization, the Islip Arts Council depends on financial support from viewers like you. Please visit islipparts.org and make a donation so that we can continue to keep the arts alive in our community.